the hills and hollows of Moore County in Tennessee, in the heartland of America. Some 150 years ago, a man named Jack Daniel saw the extraordinary natural blessings of this land and chose this spot to make his name in the art of whiskey making. He made his whiskey slowly and carefully in very small batches and ran his business from this little office by the spring. Although he only turned out a few gallons a day, it was uncommonly smooth and flavorful. So good, in fact, that a lot of big city whiskey makers had to tip their hats to Mr. Jack when his whiskey received the gold medal for quality at the 1904 World's Fair in St. Louis, Missouri. A century or so later, not much has changed. Jack Daniels' Tennessee whiskey still gets plenty of respect from other whiskey makers. And we still get plenty of questions about how we make our whiskey here at Jack Daniels Distillery and what causes it to be so special. In fact, we've had requests from folks all over the world for us to explain the difference between whiskeys like Scotch, Irish, and Bourbon and our whiskey Jack Daniels Old Time Old Number 7 Tennessee Sour Mash Whiskey, made here in Lynchburg and bottled at our distillery. Well, to start with, Jack Daniels is different because it's a genuine Tennessee whiskey. Even the U.S. government agrees that Jack Daniels is so unique it may be called Tennessee whiskey. Not American nor bourbon, but Tennessee whiskey, and you'll find out why pretty soon. Another thing which makes Jack Daniels special is simply that it is what it is. Every drop is created and bottled right here in the hollow. As Mr. Jack used to say, every day we make it, we'll make it the best we can. And that's what goes into each bottle. And that's also one reason Jack Daniels is called a straight whiskey. Unlike, say, a blended scotch, which although it's a fine product, may be a mixture of 30 or more whiskeys from all over Scotland, and which could be made of various single malt barley whiskeys or grain whiskeys. Basically, same thing's true of blended Canadian whiskey and American blended whiskey. What we know about these products from their labels is who blended it, not what's inside. But every bottle that says Jack Daniels on the outside contains nothing on the inside but a product as distinctive as a fingerprint. Since no other distilled spirit is made using the same combination of ingredients and process or in the same natural environment as Jack Daniels, Ever since we began making whiskey here at America's oldest registered distillery, we've followed Mr. Jack's original whiskey recipe, which calls for these six ingredients. First, golden corn, and nothing less than number one food grade corn will do. The best quality rye and malted barley, a little sour mash, from an earlier batch of our whiskey, some pure Jack Daniels whiskey-making yeast, a unique yeast we've been cultivating here in the hollow from the very beginning, and we believe the finest whiskey-making water in the world. You may be surprised to learn that corn is our own Native American grain. It's fed our people since long before Europeans arrived on this continent. When a load of fresh grain arrives, our miller first gives it an extra careful inspection for quality, then grinds up just the right amount for the next batch of whiskey. Then we add the ingredient that may have more to do with the quality of our whiskey than any other, our cave spring water. 
which has its beginnings in the winter snows and spring rains up in the hills surrounding Jack Daniels Hollow. Then after slowly filtering down through the layers of natural limestone, it collects and reappears as a cool crystalline spring deep within our cave here on the distillery grounds. The spring flows year round at the perfect whiskey making temperature of 56 degrees without a trace of iron, which is something you don't want anywhere near good whiskey because it can ruin the taste and color. We add our water to the cornmeal, cook it a little, cool it down, then add the rye and barley malt. Next, we add some sour mash, saved from our last run of whiskey, which helps get the fermentation rolling. And most importantly, ensures that each new batch of Jack Daniels is just as good as the last. One thing Jack Daniel drinkers have always demanded is consistency. Glass to glass, bottle to bottle, and year to year. Now, our precious original Jack Daniels yeast goes into the fermenting vat, followed by the mash. The yeast helps turn the sugar in the mash into alcohol. Here we'll let the mixture ferment, slow and gentle taking its own sweet time turning into a low alcohol distiller's beer, ready for distillation. It takes about 10 gallons of this mash to produce a single gallon of Jack Daniels whiskey. But this is a big fermenter. The mash in this single vat contains over a truckload of grain. After five days of fermentation, it's time for distillation in our 100-foot tall copper column stills. Many distilleries use stainless steel here, but we won't use anything but copper. Costs a lot more, but we believe it makes a much better whiskey. Jimmy Bedford, our master distiller, is in charge here. And like the five master distillers since Jack Daniel himself who've had this job, Jimmy relies on all his senses when he's making a batch of whiskey. We call it feeling out the run, which means all the looking, smelling, and tasting it takes to keep the process on track. It's pretty clear there's about as much art to making fine whiskey as there is science. We fill the 100-foot copper column stills with the distiller's beer and boil off the alcohol vapor which is cooled and condenses into crystal clear whiskey. We distill our whiskey at only 140 proof, which lets us retain the natural flavors of our high quality ingredients. Less expensive whiskeys are distilled at a much higher proof to eliminate the undesirable flavor of low grade grain and water. Next stop for our whiskey is this building where Jack Daniels gets smoothed and mellowed into Tennessee whiskey. But first, we'll need to make a batch of our special whiskey mellowing charcoal, which means a visit to our sawmill and rickyard, which is just across the road. Sugar maple trees grown on nearby hillsides and cut in winter when the sap is down are all we've ever used to make our whiskey mellowing charcoal. And just as we don't hurry anything else about our whiskey making process, we don't cut up our sugar maple wood for ricks until it's seasoned a while here in the rickyard. If you're wondering how we get our fire burning so hot and clean so quickly, well, we just pour on some of our crystal clear Jack Daniels, fresh from the stillhouse. Now there are cheaper ways to light a fire, but Jack Daniel never found a better way, and neither have we. Jack Bateman knows just when and how to control the burn. After 40 years of experience right here in our rickyard in Jack Daniel's Hollow, nobody can burn a rick better than Mr. Bateman. It takes lots of experience to wind up with this, a perfect pile of charred wood, rather than a useless layer of ashes. We grind the charred wood just right, 
and take it to the mellowing building where we carefully fill our vats almost to the top. Now we're ready to give our freshly distilled whiskey what we call our final blessing. A long, slow seep down through a full ten feet of fine sugar maple. This is where Jack Daniels becomes something a bourbon, scotch, or Irish whiskey can never be. A genuine Tennessee whiskey. You see, we mellow our whiskey before it matures. Using a secret process passed down from Jack Daniel himself. A process which ensures our whiskey's unmistakably smooth character. Here's one of our highly trained and skilled Jack Daniels whiskey tasters, who makes sure each process contributes to the final quality of our whiskey. All a taster has to say is, it just doesn't taste right, and no arguments, we shut down the process till our whiskey does taste right. After our whiskey tasting experts tell us, our new Jack Daniels is mellowed just the way we like it, it's ready to go in these brand new American white oak barrels, made like Jack Daniels in the most painstaking way just for us. The way we toast and char the inner walls of our barrels is especially important. It makes wonderful flavors available for our whiskey to draw upon as it rests there throughout aging. After filling and sealing our barrels, we put them in our nearby barrel houses. Here, We've always relied on nature to help our whiskey reach its full potential. When the temperature in our barrel house rises, our whiskey expands and passes through the charred inner barrel surface into the toasted lining just beneath the char. Then, as the barrel house cools, the whiskey is drawn back out through the charred surface of the barrel. This in and out circulation continuing over the seasons and years, both heightens and enriches the natural flavor of Jack Daniels and gentles its overall character. This is also how our whiskey comes by its glowing amber color. Our new barrel maturation completes the taste smoothing process started with charcoal mellowing before aging. And finally, after many seasons in our special barrels, and only after our expert tasters have determined the whiskey is ready do we move Jack Daniels from the barrels to our distinctive square bottles for delivery to our customers in over 120 countries. We hope this tour of our distillery here at Jack Daniels has helped you see how nature has blessed this hollow for whiskey making with our cave spring water and how we combine Jack Daniels' original recipe of six natural ingredients with sugar maple charcoal, new American white oak barrels, and plenty of patient craftsmanship to create a product truly in a class of its own. Jack Daniels Tennessee Whiskey. Every day we make it, we'll make it the best we can.